having chicken wings for dinner. I'm going to go in the air fryer. And I just got a new pair of summer house sandals or house slippers because mine are fleece and my feet kept sweating. They're called cloudies. Apparently they're like orthopedic too, which will be good. We'll see. But all I know is those, my feet were sweating. Yeah, like it's probably fine. My little mister just woke up. He napped for an hour. I'm gonna go do laundry. Then we're going to Home Depot for more landscaping stuff. I won't lie, last night was a rough one. Up every two hours, didn't want to go to sleep. Like I usually had to rock him back to sleep. It was just hard. My husband got up with him. Yeah, more laundry. He's been sitting down here for like three days. So I got to go back to sleep for like an hour, which is nice. I'm gonna make the bed really quickly. I am loving all the little coos they make. It is so cute. Yes. Yes. All right, we're on our way to Home Depot. I need to get paint swatches because for our shoe molding, whatever the molding is, because it's not gonna be shoe, but it's something similar, needs to match the white baseboard. So I'm getting paint swatches for that. I need a shovel so I can start my flower bed that I've never done before, but I'm gonna make it work. And I think I wanna get like a fern or something because we have a hook out there that I wanna hang a plant on. Oh my gosh, it's only 10.53 in the morning. I feel so much later, I don't know why, but maybe because he got up at 6.45 in the morning and we've done a lot, I guess. We have arrived. We're gonna go to the paint section first. Oh my gosh, it is hot here. It's like 85 today. Uh, we got what we needed at Home Depot. Now we're gonna go to a greenhouse nursery to look for a fern. We're here. All of a sudden, I feel very intimidated to push my stroller on the gravel. I don't know why. This is the first. Got the fern. I think me and the little mister are both hungry. I'm going to heat up my Indian food. I'm going to feed him. It might be nap time already, so that's where we're at so far. It is, wow, it's 11.51. I'm going to get a little creative here and try to make a copycat grilled chicken Chick-fil-A sandwich. So I know they use pickle juice, and I saw other recipes say they use molasses or powdered sugar. I don't have molasses and I don't want to use powdered sugar. I'm going to use brown sugar and then the regular seasonings like salt, pepper, garlic powder, paprika. We're just going to see how it goes and experiment here. I purposely, oh, ah! I purposely saved oh, this pickle juice for this reason. I just stabbed it with a fork. So we're gonna salt it. Pepper it. Garlic powder it. Oh, every time, whatever. We'll do. Paprika. Ah! It's just kind of chaos in here today. Great. I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing. I'm gonna drop lemon slices in there. It is crazy how many diapers we go through. Because like, I just emptied the diaper genie yesterday and it's already full. You need your man to have a diaper party. If you don't know what a diaper party is, basically it's the equivalent to a baby shower but for men. And the men just show up with diapers. I'm five months postpartum. We have not bought a single pack of diapers yet and we still have so many left. Our closet was just piled high. I would say it could have been more successful than the baby shower. And he actually had two of them. So, 1,000 out of 10, your man needs a diaper party. That's done. I know it's gross that these are up there, but you know, when you have a baby up here, I can't walk away and do this. So he's in his crib in a safe space. 
and I'm about to go get him. These are the cloudies. They are a bit chunky, but they are, they are soft. I just needed a summer house sandal. Slipper, why do I keep talking about sandals? I mean, they look like sandals or slides. Hello? I put back on a regular outfit. I just don't like wearing like regular clothes when I'm breastfeeding and nap prep for like hours on end. This is just more comfortable to wear pajamas, but I do love this dress, American Eagle. Shorts underneath. I'm just in my built-in shorts under a dress era, I guess. If you saw my last week's vlog, I had an Abercrombie one with shorts under it. I'm not proud of it, but let's get this clean. Let's time it. It's 4.29. All right, 4.34 so far, here's the update. Okay, it's 4.39. I think we're making really good progress here. These are clean, they're just drying. Okay, it's 4.45. I would say this is pretty much good. Now I do have a little stuff over here, mail to the left, and I need to fill this with, I need to get new pepper, but that was salt. I'm still working on organizing that. I don't love this, but it's way better than what it was. Here is the fern I bought today, and then we're walking back to that chair in the shade, and we're gonna sit in it. <sighs> it's freaking hot, so hopefully it's better up there when there's usually a breeze on the hill. Oh yeah, this feels good. The breeze feels really good up here. We've been trying to sit outside way more. I usually try to leave my phone inside, but I wanted to document our pre-landscaping journey while I was out here. Those two cardinals, they're always playing together back here. They fly through here all the time, every day. They're so cute. They're there. I just bought a new outdoor blanket. It's 80 inches by 80 inches, has waterproof material on it. So I'm pretty excited to put this out in the backyard and lay on it with my family. And you'll definitely be on there, won't you? I am dealing with a sty right now. So my eyelid's like red and swollen a little and it hurts, it's one of those perky days. I had to bring myself down to reality again last night because the last two nights I find I find myself like kind of getting annoyed that I can't sleep. And usually when I feel that way, I go into Reddit, I look for some like tips and techniques and solidarity. And usually it's the solidarity posts that help me get through and remind me like babies need their moms and this is completely normal and it is all temporary. So I'm feeling better after reading that. It just sometimes it's hard like waking up every two hours, but after reading some posts, you know, to remind me, this is normal, we're not alone. Millions of people are going through this too. It is all fine, it's all temporary. And then, you know, when you see your baby's cute face smiling, it does make it a lot better. Brought myself back down to earth, and here we are. They say cold compress three times a day, I mean, warm compress three times a day. I swear, our baby has gotten so big in the last two weeks. It is crazy. I'm telling you, months two through four fly by. They change so much. And now we're on month five. And like, I don't know, he's just so much longer and bigger. And we are doing our first weekend overnight stay somewhere else this weekend. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. Like I like having my nursing chair and my comfort zone. So we will see how that goes. He loves this book. It's the Good Morning Sesame Street book. Let's show him the cover. Let's show him the cover. Good morning, Sesame Street. for dinner. I am making a quick ice shake and espresso with caramel. 
My husband has his weekly golf week tonight, so that's why we're going there for dinner. And yeah. Just a single shot since it's a little late in the afternoon and I'm still, I'm still breastfeeding. I'm still trying to like take it easy on caffeine. I don't even want caffeine. I just want it for the drive because it's like 40 minutes and the girls like get it, get it. You need something for the road. Specifically, coffee beverage. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, this is good. I never make shaken espressos, but that's what my husband and I used to get at Starbucks all the time, an iced shaken espresso with half and half instead of milk and one pump of the classic sweetener. Mmm. This has caramel. He always makes shaken espresso now, but he doesn't give any flavor. This is just, and yeah, I have to do it. It's just, you have to shake it. That's literally what it's called. This is gonna be gone in like three seconds. Like this is a size drink for a garden gnome. It could have gone a little easier on the caramel, I think, but it is so good. Not even to the highway yet, and it's gone. So I don't know why I thought a single shot of espresso would last me a 45 minute drive. I just ran to Target. My baby's with my parents. I had to get some, Father's Day's coming up, so for my dad, my husband, I have a card for my sister's wedding anniversary. What else did I buy? Oh, a card for my friend who just got a new job. A a card for my nephew who's turning two, gift bags for gifts, baby pool diapers, fitted, 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 <laughs> fitted pack and play sheets. Okay, got it. Uh, what else did I get in here? Oh, mouthwash and laundry detergent. Now I'm gonna go to Ulta really fast. I need shampoo. so good. I just switched to this not too long ago, but we already gone through the bottle and it just smells amazing. It smells pretty good in here too. Slept in. Baby got up at like 6.30 this morning. My husband got up with him. Then when he was ready to nurse, he took an hour and a half nap. Now we're up in the nursery. I'm about to do some laundry because we had a poop explosion. But I'm gonna show you these cute clothes I just bought. Oh my gosh. Okay, one. How cute is this? From Old Navy. Then I got him the swimsuit for the weekend from Old Navy. I went with orange because I heard that blue blends in with the pool, which you want your kid to stick out, which it's so true. Then this little Pottery Barn kid's hat. So it has a long back and it's reversible and yeah i yeah i'm quite scared about the pool this weekend i'll be holding on to him so tight um yeah because there's blood at my husband's aunt, uncle's house so i'll just have to keep you updated on how this weekend goes again first big family event first overnight stay first pool This is really cute. Seriously. What is on the agenda for our wake window today? This Chick-fil-A is so crazy. They have two lines all the way up to the window. Normally you merge together. Thankfully we don't have to because I hate merging in fast food lines. Is one sauce enough? I guess. I guess it's enough. Finally at a red light. I've been trying to scarf this down. You know if you're a mom, you can eat so fast nowadays. Oh my gosh. I am all for a juicy chicken breast that's not disgusting and dried out, but at what cost? At, at what cost? This was a waste of time. We went to Aerie for like three minutes. It was overwhelmingly busy. The stroller, I don't know, I just had to go. Oh, I'm so confused. We parked by Dillard's, it was a mistake. 
Christmas is just so cute. She's sunbathing. Being good in the yard for once. Back in pajamas, you know the drill. I'm going out for my best friend's birthday tonight, so I'm going to get her gift together. This is what I got her, the ice cream bowl maker. We both love cooking. We have a dinner club we do together. And then I got her the ice cream cup, or ice cream tub to store the ice cream and then an ice cream starter. This is a little bit more than normal, but I felt like the presentation was important because like there's nothing worse than getting something that's missing something. Like for example, I opened uh, one of his toys yesterday. It didn't come with batteries. So that's, I, I felt like this was all important to go together. I really think I want to buy this too. It is definitely a tight squeeze. Let me get her card. Hope your birthday is a smashing, splitted, spectacular, and special. Let's just do a quick Target haul from yesterday. Laundry detergent, mouthwash for my nephew's second birthday, sister's wedding anniversary, my best friend's new job, dad's Father's Day, Father's Day for my husband from our baby, then Father's Day card to my husband from me. The fitted crib sheets, they're already, they're in the washer already. And then I got the swimming diapers. I just bought a dress from Lulu's. Let's see what it's like. Honestly, their clothing sizes just never work, so I don't have high hopes. I really think it's so cute for summer. The problem is you really can't wear a, a bra with it, and I feel like I need one since I'm breastfeeding because I leak sometimes, but I'll try this on later. I just need to do one thing at a time. And like, I don't know, trying clothes on is kind of a pain. I have a bridal shower coming up next weekend, so I'm gonna get that gift together just while we're at, while we're at the gift table. Cocktail set. Wine opener. Cookie sheets. I have these two. Okay, that's ready, that's ready. I just need to get tissue paper, card, another card. <laughs> I'm going to dinner in 35 minutes. I'm not even ready, but I was so hungry, so I made a breakfast sandwich. Oh my gosh, I pressed down on the sandwich. Betty! <laughs> It's getting in her hair. Ah, there's no paper towels up here or napkins. A really productive morning. So we got up around 7.15, fed him, diaper changed, went downstairs, cleaned the kitchen, pumped, ate breakfast, went up to the nursery, changed him again. Now I'm about to feed him and I think he'll take a nap. He looked really good. Yes, I'm out of breath. Um, the kitchen was chaos. Like I haven't even stepped foot in there for like a day and a half. So things are backed up. Cause I went out to eat last night and lunch out yesterday. Yeah. Have I'm gonna make a quick lunch. I'm gonna do chicken thighs. I have so many bottle and pump parts to wash. I'm going out last night and I pumped this morning. The background noise is the air fryer, which is so annoying and loud. Doing skin side down at 390, well you can't see it I guess, for 15 minutes and then I'll flip them for like 10 to 12 minutes. Here's the 
is what I use. Paprika, pepper, almost out, salt, garlic powder. Here's the one thing about being a mom. There's not always a guarantee you're gonna be able to eat a hot meal. Like I'm making these chicken thighs, fully knowing there's a good chance I might not be able to eat them. And I'm sharing this because I think my husband had like kind of a, an awakening last night. He tried to make ramen, you know, with the broth while I was out to dinner with our baby. And I came home, I saw the ramen on the table. I touched it, it was still warm, lukewarm, like the outside of the bowl. And I just knew he didn't get to eat it. And so I told him today, like, that is why you need to have, we have snacks on hand, yogurt, fruit, cheese sticks, whatever, because it's just pretty much a risk trying to make a hot meal and having time to eat it. You just don't know when the baby's gonna wanna do his own thing. Um, and I told him ramen, that's a pretty big risk. You have to wait for it to cool down. You have to cook it, you know? So yeah, I'm making this. I'm hoping for the best, but we will see. This is the Lulu's dress I got. I finally tried it on. Sorry, I thought I saw a bug. Okay, I think it's cute, but I don't know because I don't have a full like, mirror, so I'm gonna watch this video back and then decide. But from what I can see, I think I like it. Obviously, I wouldn't wear a bra because of the back. But I just, I like, I like the vibe. Up close. Okay, it's time to watch this back. They're sizzling, they're cracking. Okay, I know that's kind of a gross amount of black beans, but they're leftovers and we're leaving for the weekend, so I didn't really want any food. We'll just see if I eat them all. our friends they also have a baby who is nine months now their babies are four months apart then we went to ice cream that ice cream shop has been around since the 1900s and three scoops of ice cream used to be a nickel not in this economy and now we're getting pizza and going home it's hard to find healthy options on a friday show my vlog wait are you serious wait. you want to see the cheese bread cheese bread all right You think he's gonna? All right, we spent the last hour and a half packing, getting ready. We're about to go and hit the road. I just changed little mister's diaper and he just pooped, so I need to change that again. <laughs> Who put those there for me to trip over? Hi! Got the essentials for the road trip. I'm the worst vlogger, okay? So we went to my husband's aunt and uncle's house. They had a house built on a farm. So there's all these farm animals. They have a pool. 
We go there every year for the Indy 500. That's like their family reunion. My husband golfs during the Indy 500 and I just sit back at the house at the pool. Um, a lot of the kids stay there with the grandmas and yeah, I fit right in with the grandmas. It was really fun just hanging out, relaxing. I hardly vlogged anything because I left my phone in the, the little apartment we stayed in because I just like didn't want to be on my phone. I knew I would check it. So that's kind of hard to vlog when you don't have your phone, but you want to vlog. So I need to figure that out. Then we picked up our dog from my parents' house. We stayed there. We had some steak when we got back. Got home really late last night. The little mister did great on the car ride. This was his first overnight stay, first little mini road trip, first big family function. Everything was just amazing. He was definitely a little fussy last night. We were off the bedtime routine last night since we got home so late, but he did great in the car. Now, little mister and I are going to the grocery store because we have no food. I'm starving. And I really don't want to go to the grocery store at all. I'm actually going to try carrying him on like the Tush Baby Dupe that my sister helped me borrow. I love that. It's so nice, but I'm going to try carrying him on the grocery store. Normally, I push the stroller and lug around a tote bag and put the groceries in it. So we will see. I'm ending the vlog here because it's a weird transition. Stay tuned for next week to see if it was worth carrying my baby on this at the grocery store for my next vlog. Vlog. Stay tuned for next week for my next weekly. Stay tuned for my next weekly vlog to see if it was worth carrying my baby on that at the grocery store.